Today I would like to demonstrate how I stretch my watercolor paper and the reason why I'm making this video is because for the longest time I actually had trouble stretching my watercolor paper. I couldn't figure it out. Um, I read all about it um, and um, I watched videos online and I still couldn't make it happen. At least not every time that I did it. I would say maybe I was successful 50 or 60 percent of the times. Um, so I still had um, situations when um, the watercolor uh, will start buckling or warping or the gum tape will start lifting um, off and uh, it wouldn't keep the paper in place. <laughs> Gum paper tape is made out of paper and has a vegetable glue on one side, which can be reactivated with water. When the glue dries, it is so strong that this tape is not only popular with watercolor artists, but also with packaging companies to close and seal packages. So um, I figured out how to do it successfully and I wanted to share um, my method with you so I hope you'll keep watching and uh, let me know if you have any comment or any question I'll be happy to help if I can. Equipment and materials a pair of scissors a sponge mine is a tiny little sponge which I cut in half gum tape uh, there are many varieties of gum tape my favorite is made by Lucas a container filled with water or your bathtub that will work just fine a watercolor board my favorite one is made by graphics watercolor paper I like to use Arsh cold pressed 140 pounds but of course there are many other brands making amazing watercolor papers so my suggestion is to try as many as possible to find the ones that are fitting your needs. Paper towels. A wood board that I will be using to prepare the gum tape strips. Um, this wood board is actually what I used to use to stretch my watercolor paper. And uh, as you can see, it still has residues of uh, gum tape. The gum tape will be sticking to the textured wood and it will be really difficult to peel it off. That's when I actually decided to switch to the graphics um, watercolor stretching board, which is really, really smooth um, and um, makes it so it's really easy to take off the gum tape once I'm finished painting. I begin by cutting strips of the gum tape uh, the size of each size of the watercolor paper sheet that I'm using for my painting. I then soak my watercolor paper in water for about five minutes. After five minutes, I lift the paper and I let it drip on top of the container. I then place the watercolor paper on top of the stretching board, making sure that it completely adheres to the board. With a paper towel, I pat dry the sides of the watercolor paper sheet. Too much water in the paper and the gum tape won't stick to it while drying. As you can see, I'm not absorbing uh, any of the water from the center of the paper. I soak and squeeze my sponge so that it's wet but it's not loaded with water. I place the sponge on top of the strip of gum tape uh, with the glue side facing up and then I pull the strip. Now the glue is reactivated and I can apply the strip on top of the paper and I make sure that it adheres to both the paper and the stretching board. I repeat this process for all the strips that I have prepared.
with a dry paper towel I push really hard on top of the gum tape making sure that it's sticking and adhering to both the paper and the stretching board. Now uh, it's really difficult to explain how much water goes into the sponge, how much water uh, is supposed to be in the paper. Um, the, the whole process takes uh, a while to uh, learn. It's really about the ratio between water and glue. So it's going to take some practice. As you can see, the center of the paper is still very wet while the sides are drier. At this point, I let the paper dry naturally. Um, it might take a whole day to do that. Uh, if I'm chasing deadlines, then sometimes I use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. With this particular board, the graphics uh, watercolor stretching board, it's really easy to lift the gum tape once I'm finished with my illustration. I just pull uh, the tape off the board. The best part is that um, in order to lift the gum tape, I don't need to re-wet it. Um, I can just pull it off the board. I then cut off the exceeding gum tape and uh, the illustration is ready to be photographed, scanned, or framed.